A blessed day learners. I'm teacher Lumaban. Your guide to the overview of entrepreneurship. Learning objectives. After going through this video, you are expected to define entrepreneurship and entrepreneur. Identify common elements of entrepreneurship and discuss the history of entrepreneurship. Presenting examples, instances of the new lesson. The video is a typical sari sari store that you can find in every society. What is the effect of its presence in your community? Please write your answer to your lecture note or the link on this video. Who is an entrepreneur? The term entrepreneur has a French source and was coined from the words entre, which means between, and prendre, which means, to take. An entrepreneur is a unique individual with the innate ability and extraordinary dedication to establish and manage a business, recognizing all the risks, and reaping their rewards. It is not a career that anyone will simply jump into after you plan to do so. It needs a diverse business experience to be called one, ranging from advertising and marketing knowledge to versatility in operations, and financial skills. Someone who recognizes opportunities, strategies, mobilizes resources, manages, and accepts the risks of a business to have a positive impact on society. The person behind entrepreneurship, having certain characteristics and diverse traits that make him unique. Entrepreneurs do create value in expanding the scope of their market and product creation. As we find possible ways to solve the solution to the crisis. An opportunity exists as an entrepreneur begins to take the lead. What is entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is a process by which individuals or a group of individuals exploit a commercial opportunity, either by bringing a new product or process to the market, or by substantially improving an existing good, service, or method of production. This process is generally organized through a new organization but may also occur in an established small business that undergoes a significant change in product or strategy. An entrepreneurship is a proactive process of developing a profit-making business venture. It involves searching for market opportunities, establishing and operating a business out of the opportunity, and assessing its risks and rewards by closely monitoring the operations. The creation of a sound business plan, together with the efficient and effective operation of the business will benefit not only the entrepreneur but the whole society and the economy as well. Entrepreneurship is an activity that includes the discovery, evaluation, and exploitation of opportunities to introduce new goods and services. Entrepreneurship is the opportunity to know what goods and services people need and to be able to deliver them at the right time, in the right place, at the right price for the right people. According to, Knight 1921, entrepreneurship is having profited from bearing uncertainty and risk. According to, Fiardo, 1994, Entrepreneurship is the capacity for innovation, investment, and expansion in new markets, products, and techniques. According to, Ajuana, 2019, although each of these definitions views entrepreneurship from a slightly different perspective, they all contain the following common elements. Innovation, the process of bringing to an organization new concepts, technologies, or methods. This may mean creating a new service, system, or process, or improving existing ones. Opportunity seeking and exploitation, the ongoing process of considering, evaluating, and pursuing market-based activities that are believed to be advantageous for the firm. Example, lend money, good location. Resource mobilizing, refers to all activities involved in securing new and additional resources for your organization. 
it also involves making better use of existing resources and maximizing them. Resource mobilization is often referred to as new business development. Example, investment. Encountering risk and uncertainties, entrepreneurs live with uncertainty and risk. They have no choice. The future depends on them. They are responsible for their success and failures and never endures success. Entrepreneurs example, required hiring more must also learn to manage the pressure and uncertainty of having to assume responsibility for their business and their employees, purchasing more equipment, investing more money, and decision making. Economic and personal rewards, example, money, benefits, and perks. Brief history of entrepreneurship. 1723 The word first appeared in the French dictionary entitled Dictionnaire Universal de Commerce compiled by Jacques de Bresselons and published. 1755 The first proper and formal definition of entrepreneur was provided by Richard Cantillon. Cantillon describes an entrepreneur as an adventurer, who invests in the purchase of goods and materials with the incentive of selling these in the future. The inclusion of the term adventurer in the definition of an entrepreneur by Richard Cantillon is the result of the uncertainty that surrounds the price at which an entrepreneur will resell the bought goods and materials. This unique feature also served as the distinctive factor between entrepreneurs and other businessmen. This early definition of the term entrepreneur is indicative of their proactive involvement in trade and travel while exercising their ability to take risks and identify and avail fruitful business opportunities. 1758 Following Cantillon's definition of an entrepreneur, the next structured description of an entrepreneur may be found in the theories of Francois Quesnay, published in 1758. These theories brought forth the organizational and innovation-related aspects of an entrepreneur's ability. 1776 however, it was much later in the year 1776, that entrepreneurs had to face the first documented criticism. In the inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations, Adam Smith completely disregards the entrepreneurial aspect of human behavior. He talked of its absence as a natural trait of human behavior, giving precedence to industrious attitude. 1803 The damage caused to the reputation of entrepreneurs by Adam Smith was rectified by John Baptiste, who published his theory on entrepreneurs in 1803. This work included and elaborated on the famous phrase of, supply creates its own demand, as John Baptiste talked about the importance of entrepreneurs for the economy. He established the importance of entrepreneurs for the running and prospering of all industrial sectors, in relation to their organizational abilities, which they employ to meet consumer demands. Other factors that were highlighted in John Baptiste's definition of entrepreneurs included the qualities of farsightedness, risk-taking abilities, and analytical expertise. 1848 The last encouragement that entrepreneurs received was through John Stuart Mill's Principles of Political Economy, published in 1848, before the popularity of entrepreneurial personalities completely diminished by the end of the 19th century. 1930 It was in 1930 that entrepreneurs' popularity was restored when Joseph Scumpeter described entrepreneurs are innovative heroes. He described entrepreneurs as the elementary source of induction of innovation into business cycles, without which businesses may suffer from stagnancy and monotony. He explained the phenomenon of, creative destruction, which was a consequence of entrepreneurial efforts that disturbed the economic and corporate equilibrium, eventually leading to the emergence of new industries and the redundancy of the older ones. 1970 Later Frank Knight delved into the concept that entailed the term entrepreneur and modified Cantillon's definition, elaborating on the concepts of related risk and profit factors. Eventually, it was in 1970, that Nobel laureate Theodore W. Schultz's explanation of entrepreneurs gave a final shape to the definition of an entrepreneur. He described entrepreneurs as all individuals who took an initiative, assuming all the related risks and profits, and established a piece of productive machinery to meet consumer demands. Activity 1. On the screen is the two information box. Entrepreneurship and an entrepreneur. 
create a definition by using the terms around entrepreneurship and entrepreneur. Write your answer on the lecture note or to the link on this video. Rubrics for scoring. Content 75%. Presentation 15%. Creativity 10%. Total 100%. Activity 2. Direction, find out if you have the qualities of an entrepreneur. Copy the box and put a check mark on the box. You can answer this activity in the link on this video. Are you a risk taker? Yes? No? Are you a communicator? Yes? No? Are you a leader? Yes? No? Are you a opportunity seeker? Yes? No? Are you a proactive? Yes? No? Are you a innovator? Yes? No? Are you a decisive? Yes? No? Interpretation, if you have more yes than no, you have the qualities of an entrepreneur. Generalization. Direction, in your lecture note, or the link on this video. Complete the following statements. 1. I have learned that. 2. I have realized that. 3. I will apply what I have learned. Now, that you are finished accomplishing this video, let us check what you have learned. Answer the questions given by choosing the letter of the correct answer. You can answer in your lecture note or to the link on this video. Which of the following is not a definition of entrepreneurship? Letter A. It creates opportunities, ensures social justice, instills confidence, and stimulates the economy. Letter B. It is an important part of the economic growth strategies of many local and national governments around the world. Letter C. It refers to a person who sets up a business with the aim of making a profit. Letter D. The act of creating a business or businesses while building and scaling it to generate a profit. Which of the following terms is the process slash act of introducing new ideas, devices, or methods to an organization? Letter A Innovation. Letter B Invention. Letter C Technology. Letter D Modernization. Which of the following terms refers to all activities involved in securing new and additional resources for your organization that involve making better use of, and maximizing, existing resources? Letter A Innovation. Letter B Encountering Risk and Uncertainties. Letter C Resource Mobilizing. Letter D Opportunity Seeking and Exploitation. Entrepreneur means Letter A risk taker Letter B To undertake Letter C To research Letter D To improve the standard of living What business term is synonymous with an entrepreneur? Letter A customers Letter B owner Letter C users Letter D Employee Assignment can be answered in your lecture note or to the link on this video. Research on the life story of at least three entrepreneurs, identify how they started their business. Know how much their startup capital. Thank you and congratulations learners. You have completed all the tasks in this video. Once again, I am Teacher Lumaban, your guide in the overview of entrepreneurship. See you in our next video. This is a Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel.